Candidates are expected to have a thorough understanding of the syllabus details outlined in the accompanying figure. The AC generator is a device that converts kinetic energy into electrical energy. It is used in power stations to generate electricity that transmitted to houses and industries. The simple AC generator is based on the principle of electromagnetic induction. Further information on this principle can be found in section 4.5.1. In a simple AC generator, turning the handle causes the coil to rotate. This interaction between the coil and the magnet's magnetic field induces a current and EMF to flow in the coil. The direction of induced current in the coil can be determined by Fleming right hand rule. The thumb indicates the direction of force or coil's motion. The index finger indicates the direction of field. The middle finger indicates the direction of the induced current. Three fingers are always perpendicular each other. This is the slip rings commutator, and this is carbon brushes. The contact between the slip rings and carbonation brushes are sliding contacts. As the coil rotates, the carbon brushes are at rest. The slip rings reverse the direction of current every half turn when the coil is vertical. This produces alternating emph and alternating current, the defining characteristics of AC electricity. The induced current and EMF can be increased by turning the coil faster, increasing the number of turns on the coil, increasing the magnetic field strength by using the stronger magnet. Graph of the EMF against time of the AC generator. The maximum EMF occurs when the coil is horizontal. This is because the coil's movement becomes perpendicular to the magnetic field. According to the Fleming right-hand rule, the induced current flows into the page in the pink coil and out of the page in the yellow coil. The induced EMF then decreases as the angle between the coil's movement and the magnetic field decreases. The induced EMF is zero when the coil is vertical after 90 degrees of rotation. This is because the coil's movement and the magnetic field are parallel. The induced EMF then reverses due to the action of the slip rings commutator. The induced EMF then increases to the opposite direction and reaches its maximum again when the coil returns to horizontal position after 180 degrees of rotation. The induced current in the pink coil is out of the page and the induced current in the yellow coil is into the page. The induced EMF then decreases to zero again when the coil is vertical after 270 degrees of rotation. The induced EMF then increases to its maximum again when the coil returns to horizontal position after 360 degrees of rotation. The induced current in the pink coil is into the page and the induced current in the yellow coil is out of the page. As the coil rotates faster, the induced EMF increases, and the time period of the alternating EMF decreases. This leads to an increase in the frequency. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I would be grateful if you would subscribe, share, like and leave a positive comment. Your support will encourage me to create more content. Thank you.